Hello and welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be uh, creating, uh, we're going to start creating our secured note app. Um, so as you can see, I have created a simple app um, from the file new project. Uh, and uh, while creating the app, one thing I did is basically I checked. Uh, so I chose single view um, and I chose uh, core data. Um, use core data checkbox okay and uh just just so you know like you know this app i have tested on xcode 12 as well so it is actually gonna uh the steps are gonna be exactly same for xcode 12 except like you know xcode 12 you get the uh, window group and uh, you can actually choose app delegate by selecting um uh, the instead of using window group you say UI kiss style um, uh, app delegate and uh, that'll create your app delegate and scene delegate uh, in Xcode 12 other than that everything else is uh, still same so you can still follow it along uh, if you're using Xcode 12 okay uh, with that uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, when we check the core data um, there are two things that happens um, first thing is like your app delegate file receives this uh, import app delegate and it has this persistence persistence container that is created for you with your persistent container name and uh, it actually container is gonna load uh, basically the persistent store from this file that is right here exe data model id and uh, then it's gonna create this save context so that's that's uh, one thing and part of that uh, thing is also that um, that this context that is created this context is actually passed to the content views environment variable so within Swift UI you have access to the manage object context uh, throughout uh, your container your content view and its subsequent child views so we can actually see how we can pass them along using environment and use them in our subsequent um, views as well okay so that's like you know the one thing that's configuration related that xcodes uh, xcode creates for you uh, the other thing is like you know it's gonna basically have this xc data model id um, file that's gonna be created which is your actual data model um, and uh, that's going to be acting as a persistence um, model uh, for your app and this is where we're going to start so we're going to start creating our uh, entity first so basically entity is uh, just a table uh, that actually represents uh, what that what that object is going to be so we're going to say secure node in our case okay and uh, then uh, we are going to create some attributes um, and our attributes are going to be created at or created and this is going to be date type then we're going to add id this is going to be uuid next is going to be is secured and this is going to be a boolean type and last but not the least it's going to be the note itself which is going to be of string type okay so once again we have note that is string type we have created that is date type so basically when the note was created that's the unique identi identifier identifier uh, for identifiable protocol and so we can identify what that what that node is and this is going to be of uid type and you have is secured which is boolean type okay so that is our data model all right and um once we have our our data model uh, created i I do want to actually run the project and make sure everything is building uh, properly. Okay. All right. So it looks like everything is uh, building properly and uh, we are uh, launching 
Okay. So it's going to take a minute to launch. All right. Oh, you know what? I know why it's taking so long because it always defaults to uh, to a different simulator. So let me go ahead and run it again. There we go. So um, okay. So everything is looking good. Now while we are at it, we we can do one more thing um, okay so we have hello world showing up we can actually create a tab bar tab view okay and this tab view is going to have a navigation view all right and inside this navigation view we are going to show uh, two views uh, there's going to be notes home and there's going to be notes settings so let's go ahead and create those two views so we're going to select file new swift ui view next and we're going to call this one notes home all right and uh, it's going to be one more so file new and swift ui view notes settings and create all right so those two views are created now and uh, we can simply add them so we can say notes home and we can give this a, a tab item now tab item um, is where we actually define the um, the name of the tab and the icon so we're gonna simply say image system name house okay and we're gonna give it a text home like that okay so that's gonna be a uh, one navigation view and there's gonna be another navigation view a separate navigation view for another tab which is going to be displaying note settings okay and this is going to have tab item and we're going to remove all the internal content here and simply kind of use trailing closure with image system name and this time we're going to use gear icon with text as settings so if you're if you're new to sf symbol and stuff um, uh, you might not know that uh, there is an app called sf symbol that comes with your mac uh, and it has all these names of um, names of of symbols uh, images that come to you and you can simply search this to find for example if when I said house uh, this is what comes and you can simply select that entry and uh, do con command shift C to copy uh, the name and you can use that as the image system name and it's going to actually create the uh, image for you so these sf symbols actually are font uh, symbols that apple has released so they come inbuilt with the sdk or with the platform itself so um, you don't have to include extra images for your app uh, you can actually use as long as it's actually part of sf symbol you can use them okay um all right so we have these two let's go to notes home and we're gonna simply call this one notes home and this one we're gonna call notes settings okay our settings page is gonna be pretty simple it's not gonna have much so if you look at the full product it's actually notes home is gonna have majority of the of the content like the main ui and your settings is gonna have just update and reset password i just wanted to show you like you know 
some of the concepts um, uh, and make sure like you know you understand those but you can actually populate this uh, if it, it were to be a full-fledged app you would do a lot more um, than just update and reset passwords so uh, feel free to you know populate however you feel like but i kept it really simple because that's not the focus uh, for the tutorial okay so let's go ahead and launch this and there we go we have our uh, tab views created if you tab back and forth as you can see the highlights uh, for the tabs are working and you have your different pages so you have notes home and notes uh, settings all right so with that uh, we have reached uh, to the end of this video and uh, in the next video we're gonna start working on our keychain uh, wrapper so that's the first thing that we're gonna create basically uh, we're gonna create a keychain wrapper uh, so we can combine all the keychain access related um, capabilities inside that wrapper and uh, we're gonna go from there basically uh implementing uh, authentication and everything so we're gonna develop all the logic first and then we're gonna work on the ui okay so i will see you guys in next video thank you